Um, yeah, sure. You want to play pool with me? Well, yeah, I'm pretty good. Do you want to play some pool? Oh, yeah, totally. Let's all play some pool. I'll have some feelings for her. And I have feelings for him. He's going to creep me out later. Okay, just need to rest it. Slices, and voila, we're ready. Ladies first. Okay, at least you have some silver at least. Oh yeah, it's gonna go out well. Just don't make any ruckus in my room, okay? Let's see, how did I do this again? Whoops. Oh, let me try that again. I'll get right to this. Here all uh, nope. Actually, um, just you know, I guess. Nothing. No, not much really. Just doing stuff. He's gonna miss. Yep, he missed. What I gotta say, low confidence actually carrying predicts the future. And I'm always predicting the future. Be told, you're kind of young to be in here. I like, was trying to wait for some friends of mine. How old are you? Oh, okay, I'm honest. I'm not old enough. I'm just waiting for my friends. You don't understand. I don't hate this thing there. And hit! Whoa. Yeah, I made it! I'm yeah, I did better than last time. Let's see, that's why I try to do that. He knows how to be fool, but I can do better. Eh, he's waiting for friends. Actually, I I'm just like, I'm to make my friends. You don't know who they are yet. Oh, oh yeah, your friends. Um, yeah, we're speaking to some friends. Um, yeah. Either they don't care about me, or they got their own agenda to do it right now. Or maybe you're just too young. Leave me alone! No, you won't to. Can you please? No! Get away! I just can't leave the room! I don't even know if I I'm no coward, I just can't see me. You know I'm here, you just can't do anything about it since I'm invisible to you. Don't you know I treat this back for your health? Care about your pictures or your mixing machine? You can't let me play the game anyway. They should have left in the first place. Should let him already here. Go get him. Actually, no, no. Hi. this guy though? I don't know. I tripped. Left this place when I had the chance. <laughs> Help me. I'm dying. I reported for it. You're as bad as Wolverine. You just want to get away to lie around on a beach. Hmm, that's not such a bad uh. idea. I need to borrow this. Get out of my car. You're no longer welcome here. You're fired. I open that chakra. Take a seat. Can you give me your name and your age, please? My name is Mary Smith. I'm 24. Have you ever taken any acting lessons, Mary? 
Not really. I couldn't afford it, but I watch a lot of films, and I learn so much by watching them. Have you shot anything recently? I've had a few bit parts, little things here and there. Nothing very serious for the moment. I'm always too tall, too short, wrong hair. <laughs> There's always something wrong with me. <laughs> okay. Have you learned your lines? Yes. Let's get started. Mark it, please. Casting Heavy Rain, actress Mary Smith, take one. And action. The first time I saw you, I knew you were the one. I thought these things only happened in the movies, you know? Pounding heart, the sweaty hands, and the shaky legs. <laughs> I was coming out of the theater, and it started pouring heavy rain, so there I was, soaking wet, teeth chattering, freezing cold, and then you came up to me. You looked at me straight in the eyes, and you said, Need an umbrella, miss? You sent me flowers for weeks, and you said you'd love me forever. Three months later, we were getting married. God, it sounds so stupid. It's such a corny romance. But real life never ends up being what you think it's going to be. You think it's going to be one big happy fairy tale. And then one day you wake up in an average little house leading an average little life. And your real dreams are about paying the bills and maybe someday getting a bigger TV. And you realize that maybe that wasn't the life you were dreaming of. You realize maybe things could have been different. And maybe I actually could have lived with all of that, but then one day it all just stops. Starts with something small. A little lipstick on a collar. A few nights when you come home a bit late. At first I tell myself that I'm crazy. That you would never do such a thing. But just to ease my mind, one night I follow you as you leave the office. I follow you to the CD hotel where you meet the girl. And then my whole world falls apart. I come home, and I cry for hours in my kitchen. I get the gun from the drawer in the bedroom, and I tell myself that if this is all that life has to offer me, then I can do without. But then I change my mind. After all, I'm not the one who's cheating. So, quietly, I wait for you to come home, sitting in my average little kitchen. Obviously, when you get home, you don't suspect a thing. So I press the fucking gun against your forehead, and I take a few seconds to watch the fear grow in your eyes. You tell yourself, she won't do it. She doesn't have the guts. She's just trying to teach me a lesson. But you are so wrong, honey. I sentence you to death for turning my life into a soap opera cliché, for stepping on my dreams, for not giving a shit about me all those years, and for lying to me, and betraying me, and humiliating me. I'm making an example out of you for all the assholes out there. And you're forgetting you. one more very basic thing. Goodbye. You don't have what it takes to kill me. never lets his prey escape. Very nice, is it? Uh, very nice, very nice. You think I might stand a chance? <laughs> Someone will get in touch with you and let you know. She wasn't too bad, huh? Doesn't matter, she's too tall for the part. Next! Whoa, so surreal.